Vampire games have received a new sandbox we rising in their ranks. The Gothic and a Dark Survival MMO appeared in Steam Early Access quite recently, but has already received a lot of positive feedback and managed to earn the interest of the players. How did she do it? Let's take it closer to the novelty. First of all, after entering the game, we are shown a short story clip that introduces the future vampire to the course of affairs. A few years ago, Dracula and the children of the night lost in a brutal battle with mortals and now, the once waste province of vampires lines in ruins. The player is offered to play as a junior vampire, weakened by Red Deed, who just come out of the hibernation in a one of the abandoned crypts. The character editor itself is a simple and not replayed wizard frills. It will not work to customize your bloodsucker in detail, but in the future you can put a mirror in which you can change your appearance for free. Rising for the grave and leaving the dark crypt, we find ourselves in an area that vaguely resembles that medieval Carpathians. The forest that opened up to our eyes is teeming with the enemies. It used to be inhabited by vampires, but after the great confrontation, all the gothic family estates become ruins. On one of the heights you like, you can build your first castle and go hunting. We Rising kindly provides you with task and leads you by the hand, showing you what will be more useful to do at the current stage. Folk thiefing, the goal set by the game, is very easy to deal with the gameplay. Having placed the coffin for rebirth, the first thing to do is go for the form of the wolf, which will make it possible to move faster around the map. Starting from the first boss, as your character builds up armor and upgrades his weapons, you will be able to kill more difficult opponents. Unlike the same Valheim, there are a lot of bosses here the several dangerous enemies can be located at once in one location. Development of the character goes evenly and without much difficulty, unless some bosses mechanics and make you sweet. Traveling around the world you can stumble upon a treat not only from bosses and patrols. Superstitious residents stock up on garlic with might and main, silver does not allow you to completely transform, and the merciless sun strives to burn you. You can make your life easier by saving a cloak for resistance and stocking up on a potions for all occasions, but still this will not give completely immunity to irresistance dangerous for a vampire. All skills available to the character are knocked out from the bosses, of which there are as many as 37 pieces. The location of the despired boss helps determine the bloody altar, which can also be built in your dwelling, in addition to skills, bosses unlock new buildings and crafting stations. It is vital for your engaging crafting, size of the level of your vampire directly depends on the quality of your equipment worn. Most survival games allow you to build your own home, and V Rising is no exception. In the game you can build a real gothic castle and equip it in the last fashion. Bosses drop not only combat abilities, but also skills for building and crafting. Of course, like any self-respecting vampire, you can drink blood and it's not enough just to eat the first citizen that came across. The quality of the blood determines the buffs that your character receives, and when the bloodman comes, these buffs are further enhanced. Hunting for tasty bonuses will be a nice addition during the game. V Rising uses the Unity engine, which gave the game a good picture. Cartoon inspired graphics and top down view create a special charm. Musical accompaniment only enhances the gothic atmosphere and helps to fully immerse yourself in the world of Vardoran. Like other games in early access, V Rising has its own flags and bugs. 
However, I did not notice the global problems and exploits. The critical bug that caused the roof of the castle to disappear was fixed in less than a day, and in general, the team tries to release hot fixes often and works on emerging problems. We Rising is a descent multiplayer survival sim. The game definitely deserves your attentions. For less than you can get a large amount of content, which is already superior to same that Valheim at the moment. It will take more than a dozen hours to complete the game. And this is just the beginning. I have enjoyed playing the game for more than 60 hours and will continue my adventure. Thanks for watching, guys.